It's been 23 years this week since India's victory at the Kargil War. And you've heard many stories of the courage and valor of our soldiers. But on this broadcast today, we'll meet someone with a truly, truly extraordinary story. I'm Barkh Haddad and you're with the Mojo Story. And I'm here today to introduce all of you to Brigadier MPS Bajwa. He is a war hero. He's a military veteran. And... He's the man who oversaw the operation to take back the iconic Tiger Hill. I know because I was there as a 20-something and it was a transformative experience to watch this valor unfold. But then Brigadier Bajwa did something even more extraordinary. It is he who helped a slain Pakistani captain get the highest military honor of Pakistan. How did that happen? And isn't this what true courage is really about. So much to talk about in this extraordinary conversation. Brigadier Bajwa, uh, good evening. And it is an absolute uh, honor for me to have the chance to speak with you. And like I said, you were the man who oversaw the operation to take back Tiger Hill. And, you know, you're a war veteran, a war hero, a war wounded, so many things. But you are also truly emblematic of the Fauji spirit, of the soldier's big heart. I want you to take our audience back to that week when you were in charge of the ops to take back Tiger Hill and how you stumbled upon a Pakistani captain called Karnal Sher Khan. Sir. First of all, it's a pleasure talking to you, Barkati. Thank you, sir. Now, let me tell you the, the story of the Kargil, especially the I'll come down with the Tiger Hill Skateway. As you are aware, you are there only, that 56 had finished her throttling operations. And it was on 26th of June when my brigade headquarters, that is 192 Monter Brigade, was called in. Moment I reached Jalpuri, met Jalpuri, who was a GOC of Hit Monter Brigade. I reached the operations room and he told me, Ms. Paj, now it is your turn to take Tiger Hill. I said, no problem, sir. He says, every time you turn around and say, no problem. It is a very, very difficult, it is a strategic important, it's very, very important. Yeah. I said, you must have given a thought. Don't worry, sir, I'll do it. Then after he asked me to come down to 56 Brigade, you were there. In Dras, I came and spent my first night on 26th June with Brigadier Amaral, who was the commander of 56th Brigade. 27th morning, Bakhaji, when I caught up early morning, it was a bright light. I caught out my bunker and I looked at that majestic feature called Tiger Hill. The first thing which came to my mind was that Shabbat of Hidikur Gobind Singh. Those lines were, De Shiva Bar Mohe, Ehe, Shubh Karmante, Kabuhu Nakaru, Nakaru, Arsu Jab Jayadaru, Nishche Karapu. Now that is what the role actually, Nishche Karapu, Ek Dhrid Nishche. That was what I spoke and I said to myself that I would take Tiger Hill. As I was looking at the Tiger Hill, I saw a, a young officer coming to my throat way. And no wonder he was none else, but he was Vikram Batra. He had grown his beard. He was from my formation, 13th Jackery, which had come early. And by the time he had taken 5140, I said, well, Vikram, how are you? You are looking very handsome and weird. He, the officer who was accompanying him, he said, sir, don't call him Vikram. He is Shir Shah now. I was very good. He said, sir, you have told me once when I missed a, a terrorist, and you said, son, don't miss it next time. And I had promised you, when he, the unit started out, he came and promised me, yes, sir, I'm going to war now. And I promise you I won't miss an enemy. And sure enough, he said, I've come to tell you that in 5140, I've not missed an enemy. I got it, and I did say, Bill Mangi more. I think by that time it had become, though it was with, uh, what was that, success signal. Thereafter, I see, he said, Sir, now since uh, you have been given assigned the task of Tiger Hill, 
I especially came down and wanted to meet you and ask you and request you that 13 last objectives should be taken and give me the task now. Take him into the top. That is the top of the I said, certainly, I promise you today that you'll be the one who will be going to the Tagore top. You know my plans are in tough, but I know when the going gets tough, Batra gets going. He said, no, Shirsha gets going. Okay. Now, that was the start. When I went on for the reconnaissance thereafter, I was targeted by an artillery OP. And it was, I was shelled. And a shell landed just five yards from me, a medium shell. I was buried into a bunker, very left bunker, which is there. Taken out by two Rajiv Johans. Their soldiers were there. I was only praying to God that I should not be wounded and be evacuated. But God was great. This was my second time of survival. But in insurgency, I was born with RDX and I'd just come back after getting myself stitched with 48. This was a blunt injury. Well, I made my plan. Plan was presented. Somehow, they thought it was a plan with uh, four units, as you had mentioned in your commentary. But it, it had got changed because they wanted to, the 475 uh, was given little priority. Third and fourth, that is the third July and fourth July, that is the third night. My attack for Tiger Hill was to go. And on the fourth, fifth, the attack on 475 was planned. Now, my plan, my whole thing was converted into a diversity attack. It would come free attack in the forest. That is, 18 Canadians, as you are aware, that they had uh, done their uh, thing in uh, traveling and they were resting in Gomri area after having lost two officers and almost 60 characters they had. And eight sick, which was deployed all around Tiger Hill. These two units were given to me. The instructions were very clear that let the eight integrated go on top, the way you have planned, you make the plan. And my plan was to go take the top first and then come down to the uh, southwestern side. That is on India Gate and Helmet uh, side. I said to myself, okay, I have to take those instructions. But something came to my mind. It was a very, very strange thing which came to my mind. And I think so that took a turn. That turned the whole thing. As you rightly mentioned, it was a turning point in the target. Project. Now, that was I, those eight, six, you all, when I was uh, there on the farm base on the, in the, in the, in the federal headquarters, at double four, six, you know, uh, double six. I called the supervisor. I told my BM, just ask for the Subhadra Major. Subhadra Major came and naturally their uh, morale, because they had already attempted two attempts or failed on southwestern side, one by one to one brigade, one was by 56 brigade. And I, I was told that probably their morale, because there is gone, is gone, because of various reasons, don't want to go into that. I asked Subhadra Major a very frank question in Chase Punjabi. Subhadra Major, I saw that spark in the I knew I won the half of that. Now that spark, that is one motivation you know, which you, I say, sir, Spontaneously, I got the reply. Of course, I told him, okay, now you go back. I asked the CEO, I said, SP, you gave me about 50 men. I don't know the company plus, I'm not uh, staff calling, so you know those clients, no, I'm staff calling. But give me the fittest 50 cats, keep them there. Moment I get the talk, I'll ask them to go and occupy where you've been trying to last two times. He said, sir, ultimately he got two officers, led by Major Parmar, Lefty Sharab, his Gathak platoon, and four of four JCUs and 46 other ranks, total 52. 
Now, I put Grenadius and I put the CEO to get the, the fittest officer, the youngest officer, they got it. And you have seen that movie and our other, actually that was a movie we have made on you, Lakshya, the way with the closure clients. And uh, you know, how oh, one I made him to climb. I got uh, two teams from uh, of halls from the IIT Goa Press School, which was close by Sonamal. I say, I say, Beta, you have to climb up and give me top because that's the only way we, you, we could achieve surprise. So it was difficult, but not impossible. Well, fourth morning at four o'clock, 4 July, I got the success signal and he got the top. That is, the commander of platoon had gone and top. And the Delta company was just sitting about 100 meters away. Nibalkar, you know, he who was the new chicken. Now, that was the time when I, because by the time then Puri had left the operation room, thinking that you give me the body, give me the progress in the morning. I told him, I said, sir, I gave you a good news. I got the tiger and top. But the battle is on. Please keep to yourself. Because by 10 o'clock, the position will be clearer. Now the battle is on. But I assure you that we won't leave. We have got the top. And that was my main aim one. He said, oh, Fast, good, well done. But you know that you know that excitement, exuberance, as per his book, as, as per his wording, he uh, drank up co commander and he said, oh, have a bath in champagne. And then after it traveled all the way. And by nine o'clock, our honorable prime minister, he had told Bihari Bhaskar, the new style, he, in a public meeting in, in Haryana, he declared, Tiger Hill for Kabza Kamiya. Now that is where the thing traveled to Musharraf, to went to Nawashi, and he was angry with the people that all Tiger Hill is gone. How that iconic feature he said, as we are lost, I won't at any cost. Now this was the time, Bhakti, that I told those 52 men, which was not in the plan, even GOC didn't know. I not disclosed to him intentionally because he may say, don't do it because the instructions are not the home town. You have to do certain things to achieve something. Well, I asked him to carry on. On fourth night, they started climbing gate stick people. And by morning of fifth, they had captured two posts, that is helmet and India gate. If you see the map, this helmet and India gate was on the southwestern side of the top. Now I had interposed this these 52 men between the top and between the western side, you see the Rocky Knob and 475, that feature of Rick Heights. You know. But in the morning, when the enemy learned that they were totally cut off their battalion, their company headquarters from the top, they started punishing them. I was expecting in the morning only that counterattack or some reinforcements will come to reinforce the attack at the top. But luckily, or Unfortunately, for some um, reason for AC, why I'm saying, because they were punished the whole day, but nothing came on fifth. Sixth morning, early morning, the first counterattack came on helmet. It was repulsed. It was a very weak counterattack. Second was also repulsed. But the third counterattack was led by two very determined officers. Two officers were leading that attack with almost strength. To my mind, it was a strength of more than 40 people or 60 people. But certainly, it was in a great strength because you know it is a ridge line. You can't make it out. How many people? There's no effort to get in the in the in the planes. So it was led, later on we learned that he was Major Kabar of uh, SSG, Special Service Group. That is uh, the, like our para para sub officer, the yeah, para commando. And the other officer later, of course, we learned that he was Captain Kanal Sheer, Kanal Sheer Khan of Trillan Life. Now, as they came forward, they were able to beat my, they, the, you know, that small little force that was, that is six men, we left with the uh, left in Sharawa, two JSU, they were there in helmet. So they, as a result, my two JSU lost their life. They were killed, they were martyred there. And Sharawat was very really wounded. So Major Ravinder Parmar, who was the chief commander and located there in, in, in the media gate, 
He asked my permission. In fact, I had started controlling the battle because I had taken the permission from the commanding officer. He let me speak to them because I could speak their Punjabi very well. I could influence the battle. Uh, and he had given me because uh, for the reasons. Kind of it. Now, I was talking to Parmar directly. And he was saying, sir, I want to pull them back. I said, pull them back. Give them a fight only at India Gate. As it India Gate, Major Iqbal somehow, I know we didn't find them. We only got his body data, which was not actually not found really. I think it was whether he was killed or whether he was, he had slipped down. But this young guy in track suit, as you are aware, they were all putting on black or pajamas. This particular person, young man, was putting on track suit. And the JSU and the officer was time and again saying, sir, he, there is someone, there is a young man putting on track suit. He inspires them. Main motivates them and brings them. This is the third day. He is again motivated them and brought them back. Now that is the time where all of us had it. I said, in any case, you have to kill this person. Where in a track suit, I feel that he is a he's an officer and not a, a normal one. So he said there is a pulsar who is there and badly wounded. So he asked Paul, first Paul Singh, to somehow get up and kill him. So, so Paul Singh, despite getting wounded twice, got up. And then after getting up, he just benefited the from five yards, killed this young man. And the moment he was killed, everything was over. This was on sixth and Everything yeah. was. We also learned that there was another commando officer. Later, he was awarded. Uh, that is Gibsonization. The thing is, thereafter, the Tiger Hill talk was also captured by and uh, another platoon came from Grenadiers, 18 Grenadiers, and reinforced. And there were about 18 men came from uh, Sikh also and reinforced. The thing is, by it by sixth, we had by evening we had posted the flag from on the Tiger Hill. Now that was one, there was a little, what I wanted to tell you is a very interesting incident. That all of a sudden, when this, the communications failed, and they say that the radios we are open, any man can hear us. So I told my signal officer, don't worry. I said, pass a message that our para commanders are landing there. Right? They weren't landing, but at times you have to do something. It's a, you can call it deception or anything you call it. It gave a lot of josh to our troops, and the enemy from the top started running away after hearing this because they really could, the enemy could hear. So he also heard that para commanders are coming. Anyway, I'm just, it was just a normal thing. The battle was over, but something it came to mind, it was playing in my mind that the, he must be an officer who was leading. Of course, I fought at 71 war also. But Bangladesh war, I never. Saw any officer leading attack. That is the major weakest point in Pakistan. Why I'm saying this, I thought was an officer. So somehow I was impressed by his behavior because bravery is that he had come to our Indraga perimeter where I had two officers wounded. Both officers were wounded Major Parmar and Lefty Sharaw. I had lost three JCs out of four, 50 men out of four. 18 men, they were lying wounded. 13 and 20. Imagine, it was a battle of little, a small since you can compare it to some extent a battle of Saragiri. That it was hand to hand fight later. So, this is how the Tiger Hill was taken. I wanted this man's body back. So, I sent instructions. Some of the art bodies were coming down, wounded were being you know, brought down by the pioneers and by our own advance. And I had to send, I, somehow I was at a man that I wanted this body. This, this, is, this, this man, this man yeah. turns out to be Karnal Shir yeah, Khan. Captain, later. Captain Karnal. Uh, yeah. Captain yeah. Karnal Shir Khan. Karnal and, this Khan. Was, and, and this is the body that comes down yeah. eventually. So tell us about he, this. this. This is the yeah. body which is lying in front of my bunker. When the body was brought down, he was, you can see that he was in track suit and all. And I asked, uh, we searched his pockets and got the letters and all everything. And got it uh, read by you know uh, JCO was who knew who to uh, by all. we didn't know to. we we found letters from his bagel 
कि आप कब आओगे बहुत इंशाल्लाह सब कुछ ठीक ठाक है बच्चे वेट कर रहे हैं आपके उसके वालिद की कितनी थी फ्रॉम देर वी लर्न दैट ही वॉज कैप्टन कर्नल so his he was kanal shir khan it was there today. so i we prepared the documents and all i convinced the goc that we must send this body back and some other document documents to make sure to tell pakistan to tell everyone that the regular army is fighting it was another light infantry and there was regular army there were not much headings as general musharraf was claimed or this claim but then something was playing my heart i just took out a piece of paper Okay. This was for my heart. No one told me. I didn't ask anyone. I just wrote it on a piece of paper only that Captain Kanal Sher Khan of Peranai has fought very bravely, and he must be given his due recognition. And I put that paper in his pocket. Never realizing in my life, never realizing ever whether these lines will be, this paper will be. Taken out by us, seen by anyone, or even his body will be accepted by the by Pakistan. And sure enough, we were fighting war. I fought another operation called Gulus Bal, but I was told that his body was refused as expected. It was later on, on the insistence of Red Cross, that his body was then accepted by Pakistan. And moment it was accepted, I think so. Somebody saw that those four lines. That was the time, in fact, they insisted. Everyone and ensured and post general Musharraf that our young men and women they have also fought hard. They have fought for their own country. 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 They have fought for their own so i this is an extraordinary story and to me who loves the indian military i consider it the great honor of my life to have had the opportunity to learn from all of you to cover the kargil war at the front line uh, to me this symbolizes the fauji spirit your soldiers heart your big heart but i want to go back to this image of kanal sher khan or colonel sher khan as his father wanted him to be he was only a captain can we go back to that yeah. body this is the yeah. body you see outside your bunker aur aap apne dil se ek chitthi unki jeb mein dal dete hain yes. wo kya feeling thi what was that feeling in you that made you do it sir the feeling was uh, like uh, anything you know we are fighting with enemy whether his enemy the way he fought he fought very bravely and everyone i was getting the report that three young men that again gets them inspired them and he was the one who was the last one to kill and he just came so close and he was leading on front the only person so i at that time i didn't know that he was an officer but my guess was because he was the only person in tax suit so i thought that maybe that is a different dress so he should be now the young officer so i want to see that officer who was really and that sort of his bravery impressed me whatever the way he fought i said and when i wrote that chit when i saw his body i read the letters of his family his begum and wallet i thought that i must recommend i must for my heart that before the body goes i just took out a piece of paper and instantly i spontaneously it was spontaneous section that i must recommend i must say i mean brave is a brave but he is enemy he is no more enemy he is a soldier now and he is what bravely so my my heart it was in my heart i said purely for my heart that i wrote those four lines and not even expecting that somebody will ever read but it was from my heart so i wrote amazing and put it now I, I when, later when he does get the nishane haider which is pakistan's highest military yes. honor jaise aap you said you left the chitthi in his jeb Yeah. You didn't even know. You you see, initially Pakistan was not even taking back bodies. No, no, Pakistan, they were not. 
पाकिस्तान डिट वॉन्ट टू एडमिट की उनके अपने रेगुलर लोगों हाँ एंड द इंडियन आर्मी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल आर ऑडियंस दिस सर बिकॉज मेनी यंग पीपल डोंट नो द इंडियन आर्मी इन इन द फाइनेस्ट ट्रेडिशन एक्चुअली परफॉर्म द लास्ट राइट फॉर मेनी पाकिस्तानी सोल्जर्स बॉडीज विच वर लाइंग अनक्लेम बट दिस बॉडी डज मैनेज टू गो अक्रॉस विद द इंटरवेंशन ऑफ द रेड क्रॉस एंड सो ऑन नाउ लेटर वेन यू हियर that he has got the nishane haider pakistan's highest military honor basis your as a as an adversary uh, you have yeah. you know your men have slain this captain but you are yeah. recommending him for the nishane haider and you get this news what is yeah. the first thing you thought matlab aapke dil mein us samay kya guzri kya kya guzra aapke dimag mein kya guzra i think so i was the happiest person why because i thought i'm the one out in the history of warfare if you see This must have happened for the first time that one commander writes citation of the enemy, and he also writes citation of his own man, his own young soldier, Grenadier Yogendra Yadav. He gets for a Vir Chakra, and the enemy gets Neha Neha. It's never happened anywhere. But my biggest thing was that yes, that what my heart said, it was accepted by the God, and that God, it was God's will. and that i thought ke probably yes what i did was the right thing and he got the right sort of thing otherwise he would have gone as unsung hero how did you find the bada dil jisko kehte hai na ki aapka dil bahut bada hai sir kyunki main ye logo ko samjhana chahti hu how did you find that big heart jaise aapne kaha aapne Uh, PVC recommendation likha and Yogendra Yadav yeah. then was recognized with it. But you were yes. the happiest person when an enemy captain that your men took out a just war with the Pakistanis had had come in. How did you find that generosity of heart? And did his family ever reach out to you? I know they wrote a letter to the Indian Army thanking you. That is what we get to read, uh, yeah. thanking you for your generosity. But how did you sh- find that generosity inside you? uh you see but what gave me the biggest you know thing is satisfaction was then of course recommending it was but the what additions or thing would i got as shabash and, and the thanks from his father ki main bahut mashkur hu ye mere dushman mein mere bete ko chahe usne apne watan ke liye shahad di aur aapke ek bigri baad wale jo hai the wahan pe the unhone uski letter ki wajah se mere bete ko ek bahut bada award mila Or well, I, I was giving an interview to uh, the BBC. BBC was also interviewing dear people, and I heard his banja uh, uh, saying, "Nephew, saying, 'Hamare mamu jaan ne bahot badi shahadat ki. Ham mushkur hai unke dushman ke bhi. Jinhone hamare mamu jaan ko ye kiya. And mind you, their village, which was a very in a remote area, is that complete area totally changed. Those four lines have played a very very vital role." I mean, God, He God, Nishan had her. But today, the whole village is or areas lit up. The roads are there, schools are there, internet is there. You say a thing, and the name of the village has been changed after Kanal Shah Khan. So much so that I was the day they wanted to name their academy, and they wanted to honor me, and they wanted me to inaugurate. See, this is where the things come down. That. whether we the people have approached me from pakistan let they be aur hamare awam ko chahiye nahi war ye hum agar aap hamare aadmi ko ladke ko de sakte ho kara sakte ho shahadat di usne apne wadan ke liye par aap ne usko izzat di and hum chahte hain ki hum aap ko bhi izzat dein so this is what i think so the the aim should be at that point not only we just kill and that's why right. we are doing our duty they are doing their duty I want to ask you when Pakistan approached your people from Pakistan that they also want to honor you. What did you think? And I think you've said something so important. I've had this silly smile throughout the interview because I know from knowing all of you that this is what a soldier's heart is. It's not ki jao maro, you know, uh, which are yeah. call which are calls given from armchair uh, people who yeah. never actually seen action. when yeah. pakistan approached you and said we'd like to or pakistanis not pakistan yeah. when pakistanis pakistan. approached wow. you and said what did you think well it was an honor it can't be anything better i mean there was something there i got message through someone not directly but through someone 
one of my friend was there in touch with them on the thing. And they asked him, okay, we are sending visa and all. Please, uh, we want him at least once to visit us. And we would just want to honor him. Honor him there well, because he has done so much. That is what I think so the, the spirit should be. This, this is from the awam. I, they, not from army to army. After we are always like is gone with each other. <laughs> but yes. what I'm saying, the, the, you know, the public, the feelings, the feelings were so strong that till now, on the Twitter, I get more messages from Pakistan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this. And I think so. No one else has ever said, you know, why? Though, of course, people have said, okay, why Saurabh Kaliya was treated very, why did you treat him like that? I said, no. Saurabh Kaliya, they that means they, we are like them. Is, is they treated, let, let's not treat them like that. Is a soldier, another the prisoner was photograph you have seen in Zulu's part. I'm talking to the prisoner. You should see the photograph. He's a yeah. Mahmud Ashraf from 19th FF, 24th. He was made prisoner when I, he got a gangrene. If you see his leg is also seen there. I went and spoke to him. I took out his blinds. I said, Mahmud Ashraf, ki hai? Tata the figure nakan. He was also from Lahore. I knew he was new Punjabi. So he started weeping. He started crying. I said, why? He said, sir, I was told by my, because I'm a young uh, soldier and I've got six sisters. I was told that Indians will just give you poison. They'll torture you to death. But you have treated me so well. You are now trying to get me treated and send me back. I don't know who will go back. They'll kill me. But I see, see that it, it is just your, 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 it is human dead in sort of thing. Those feelings, you live, you sort of have fight bravely. Not that only you do it. But at the same time, you have to have those feelings as well. I want to ask you in the end, uh, there was also a Pakistani army officer that reached out to you over the uh, uh, walkie-talkie, yeah. Lieutenant Colonel yeah. Mustafa, if I'm remembering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, us, tell us that story. Uh, this was uh, my second operation of Guru Spa. This was actually finished on 25th morning. That's why we celebrate our uh, Vijay Devas Day on 26th. I enable every, the whole country to celebrate because I got the first uh, that objective of, I don't want to go into details. I used to para, nine as of para, in last of that, for Fazulu's part. When the dead bodies were lying and we had lost four, now I was told by the commanding officer, Colonel Rajbir of the third year, that the commanding officer sir, wants to meet, to speak to you on radio. I said, put him through. It would be very good that I speak to the commanding officer of the, my enemy. He says, I call Mustafa here. The site. I say, yes, Mustafa. What can I do for you? He says, sir, first of all, I must congratulate you. Your boys have fought very well. I said, thank you very much. Secondly, sir, this 19th FF, that is front of your was once commanded by Field Marshal Manik Shah. I said, very nice. That's the first time I'm hearing. Uh, now tell me, what do you want? What can I do for you? He said, sir, this is question of my kizzat of my pattern. You see, he had not got instruction by anyone, but that is the one he said. This, this is a question of my kizzat. I want to make a very personal request. To you. I said, yes, go ahead. He said, sir, if you could return my dead bodies. Now, because he says, that's the time as a commander, I have to give it a season. I can't say I'll check and let you know. We are not those officers. We are not those commanders. I said, no, okay. If I give you those return, those bodies, what will you put? He says, I'll go back without giving you. I said, how do I take your word? He says, I'm Pakistan. Now, that spontaneous answer by him literally shook me. That he's saying, I'm Pakistan. So I have to reply. I can't say anything else. So I also spontaneously said, OK, I'm also Sadaf. Your bodies will be handed over. But with respect, these should not be dragged in a gunny bag. We'll wrap them with the new national flag of Pakistan. And thereafter, put them on the stages. And you, your boys will come, carry the stages, we we'll salute. And we, because they are, they are no more enemies, we kill them. They are, they are no soldiers. So you see a clip, there's a clip. You put it on the YouTube and see other Pakistani bodies. And somebody from 9SF has reported that with video cameras. 
we never thought of recording. But it did go to, I understand, went to you and that thing. And they really admired and wrote to Artemis. And subsequently, I also got Shabai. And she had given a warning. Why did you return the body that you own? But that was the first time, and this again, that during a battle, and he, we both kept our word. He went back, and I returned the body. And of course, he was the rare Pakistani officer who was willing to take yes. back the bod bodies really. of his men. Under yes. Musharraf, Pakistan was yeah. not willing to even acknowledge their fallen mm. soldiers and what could be a bigger disgrace than, than, than disowning yeah, your own yeah. men in uniform. No, I must, uh, I must correct you about something. One, because this particular 19 after was properly proper uniform, khaki uniform. Hmm. This was no more those. This was, if 12th to July, uh, if, you, if you know, you are aware. Yeah. From yes. 12 July to 18 July, we had given them time to pull out because this is what Bill Clinton told me. Okay, you pull out. Correct. Correct. So there was ceasefire. This was after ceasefire, 23, we learned that there is a regular unit which is in a proper uniform, khaki uniform, which has come and taken off. That's why it was FF, not an analyzed unit. No, 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 correct. But correct. I must admire okay, his, 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 of his thing, he's approaching the enemy just to get his body back. Otherwise, no other CEO. I haven't seen it CEO in Pakistan and now expect them to, you know, <laughs> to take the bodies back. But I mean, I'm, I wish 19 of those uh, NLI bodies were also taken back by somebody with respect. We did yeah. worry that all those bodies with respect. That's a different issue. But here's an officer is approaching. Ekal Mustafa is approaching for his men to get them those bodies back. He says, question of my isip. And I admire, I really admire his uh, thing, you know. And as an infantry officer, I also uh, kept my word. And send yes. the body, the of the body, and they took it with respect. And, and and I think one of the extraordinary things was how the military uh, performed the last rite for the Pakistani fallen soldiers when those bodies were not being taken back. So at least Colonel yes. Mustafa fought, fought for yeah. his men. Uh, but yes. I must, in the end, sir, salute you for two reasons. For many reasons, but I'll keep it to two right now. One for being the hero of the Tiger Hill operation. It was a turning point in the war. I say yeah. this as somebody who was there. Uh, we yeah. know you're a war wounded veteran. You yeah. know you have you have seen action in Bangladesh in seventy one, yes. then Kargil. But secondly, uh, for for actually representing and being a living example of what a soldier's code is, what the fact is that war also has a code there is an mm -hmm. ethics to war yes. and i think i think by showing that generosity to uh karnal or colonel uh, captain colonel yeah. sher khan you showed your bada dil you showed yeah. your uh you showed that courage also comes with compassion so yeah. we bow to your courage and compassion thank you. Thank you, god bless you sir. thank, thank you. you thank you thank, thank you thank, thank, thank you sir. thank you sir thank you. Thank you. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.